Hey guys, welcome back, or welcome if this happens to be your first time here. My name is Lisa. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Guess what guys? The gyms finally reopened here in Los Angeles County. They've probably been open about a good two weeks now. However, as I literally filmed this video, the governor came on television and literally shut everything back down again. So yes, the gyms are closed, the malls are closed, all of the indoor restaurant eating is closed, barber shops, nail salons, hair salons are all closed. So yeah, we're on lockdown again. It's going to be a really long summer. There's no end date that he even mentioned and it's summertime and LA is hot. <laughs> So I honestly don't see people staying inside of their house. A lot of people in Los Angeles actually don't have air conditioning, so I can't see people staying inside their house, inside of a sauna. They're just not gonna do it. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but yeah, it's gonna be a really, really long summer. Anyway, I wanted to come on and share with you guys some of my favorite scents that I like to wear to the gym since the gym opened, but it's closed now, but I still want to do this video so I'm just gonna do it so if you followed my channel for a while you know that I absolutely love perfume and fragrances however I do not like to smell really heavy scents on people at the gym a man or a woman it just bothers me it just does something to me like I can't I don't like to smell oud or any really loud perfume at the gym it just does something to me Probably because I have a really strong sense of smell and then at the gym, your blood flow is just increased and it just makes your scent even more heightened. So I'm always gonna wear fragrance. You guys know that no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing, I'm always gonna have some type of perfume or fragrance on, but it's just gonna be lighter and fresher and cleaner at the gym. Those are the types of scents that I like to wear to the gym, clean, fresh, that type of smell. So I'm gonna share with you a few of my favorites that I like to wear. Don't want the video to be too long, so let's just get into it. First one I have is from the house of Armani Privé. It's called Oranger Bernice. If you saw my birthday perfume video, this was one of the ones that I purchased and I just really love this scent. It's perfect for the gym. It's very light, very fresh. Kind of has citrusy, woodsy, uplifting, just very clean and fresh. Kind of like cologne vibes and it has notes of orange, neroli, bergamot, cedar. It's just really nice. So yeah. Next we have this one by the zoo. It's called Fig My Love. When I first smelled this, I was intrigued and I just kind of fell in love with it. The Zoo is actually a newer fragrance house and I like scents that are different and unique and this one is definitely different and unique. This is actually listed as a green scent and I typically don't like green scents. Like I don't like things that smell like grass or trees or plants. That's not my type of vibe. It's just not me. But this one is just very different. So it's called Fig My Love. So obviously it has figs and fig leaves in it. And when I first smelled it on my skin, it smelled like it kind of had mint in it, some type of mint profile. But when I looked up the profile, it doesn't list any type of mint in it. So I don't know, but I just really love this on my skin. It's just very clean and fresh and different and I can't explain it, <laughs> but it just works. It's perfect for the gym. Just kind of clean and soapy and minty a little bit. It just works. Next, I have this one from Bulgari. This one is called Eau de Blanc and I recently purchased this in the Savora VIB sale. This one just smells so amazing. This is a great everyday scent. For someone who doesn't really want to smell really perfumey, it's just very natural smelling. It has 
the smell of tea it also has a little bit of jasmine a little bit of cardamom so it's kind of spicy clean fresh smelling you're not doing too much but you're smelling good and just naturally clean and beautiful it has a little bit of rose a little bit of orange i love the smell of orange blossom you guys know that already it just works very well it's not very heavy but it's very seductive at the same time so very perfect for the gym i absolutely love this and then i have its sister so this one is also from bulgari this one is oh the vert and this one i've been wearing for years i absolutely love this fragrance it's very soft and sexy this one is a little bit warmer and spicier so this one also has notes of cardamom it's also a tea scent so it has like green tea i believe a little bit of musk cardamom bergamot a little bit of rose woodsy scents and citrus it's just very fresh light clean spicy very sexy i love this i always get compliments on this next we have a recent purchase this is louis vuitton's california dream this is actually one of the newest fragrances released from the house of lv this was a total blind buy so if you want to see my video where i unbox and give you guys my initial first impressions of this fragrance i'll definitely leave it in a card above so you can definitely check that out this was inspired by the city of Los Angeles so it's supposed to smell like the city of LA it's very light and fresh and fun so I'll definitely give it that because of the packaging I bought it so one thing about me why I love perfume obviously I love the juice in the bottle but I'm totally sucked in by the Whole presentation of it I love the packaging I love the presentation of it all of that so I was gonna buy this just because of the bottle I mean look at it beautiful pink ombre with light blue I mean how can I not <laughs> I thought because the bottle was pink it had more of a sweeter profile but it actually doesn't it has more of a citrus cologne vibe going on here so it has notes of musk, it has a little bit of mandarin, pear, benzoin. It's perfect for the gym, it's not very heavy at all. One thing I will say about this is that to me, well, it's not very long lasting. And to me, I know this is gonna be my very unpopular opinion here. <laughs> but for me, this is nothing really special. I can feel the daggers coming like I'm fighting them off <laughs> but anyway for me I say that because it's not anything super different that I have in my collection already you guys know I like things that are different and unique and for me it's just nothing really special although I do like it I definitely will wear it next we have one of my all-time old-school favorites I absolutely love 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 this fragrance this was actually like a signature fragrance for me back in the day this is clean ultimate and it smells just like the name says the ultimate clean fragrance this smells just like you just got out of the shower it smells like clean fresh soap it's perfect for the gym I absolutely love the scent if you're a person that doesn't like really heavy scent something that just smells really natural and clean this is the business I love this I will always have this it reminds me of my friend that passed away I remember we went to dinner once and she gave me a hug and she's like oh my god you smell so good what is that and it was this and she went out and bought it but yes it will always remind me of her this has notes of neroli lemon lime lavender musk rose it's just a beautiful clean fragrance perfect for the gym i absolutely love it i love it <laughs> next up we have tiffany and co love for her i actually really like this scent it's very light i honestly like this one better than the original not the original original Tiffany from years and years ago but the recent original Tiffany fragrance 
this is just a nice light clean grapefruit smelling type of neroli kind of reminds me of the spa a little bit of basil cedar woodsy vetiver it's just very fresh and clean perfect for the gym a lot of people like the original tiffany obviously but that one has too much iris in it and i'm not an iris girl i still wear it but it's not my favorite i like this one actually it's just lighter next we have another one of my old school favorites so this is by clarence i still can't pronounce the name of it so i'll just show it to you oh recorsante but anyway this is so amazing. It just totally reminds me of my youth when I was wild and free and didn't have a whole bunch of responsibilities. No, I wasn't wild, but anyway, this is just so amazing. It has like a kind of just a fresh, light, beautiful, it kind of sparkles. This reminds me of my travels to Africa. I wore this a ton when I was in Africa. I still had to wear fragrance even though it was hot and there are mosquitoes and supposedly mosquitoes are attracted to fragrances or can be. I still had to wear it. So I know it's a little dangerous, but anyway, this does so well in warmer weather. I love it. It's like a natural beautiful scent it just kind of sparkles it has notes of cedar I a little bit of iris a little bit of basil so it has that spicy aromatic sparkly beautiful scent a little bit of benzoin I just love this it brings back so many memories yes we have another old school favorite this is also by Clarence this one is O de Namisante I love this. It brings back so many memories. Oh, this reminds me of just laying in the bed on a Sunday morning and chilling out in my apartment. And it has that beautiful, sexy, kind of understated, sexy, kind of intoxicating spa-like scent. So it has like a spicy aromatic scent and it's very unique, very different, but very natural smelling. But it has an understated sexiness to it. Now that I'm smelling it, it's just, it's just kind of intoxicating to me. So it has all of that good stuff in it. It has notes of orange. It has rosemary, thyme, coriander, cardamom, a little bit of patchouli. It's just very unique, very, mm, it's just good. I love this. I love to wear this to the gym and yes, I'm totally here for it. Up we have this by Cartier. It's Declaration Undune Soir. This is so amazing. This is marketed toward men, but you know how we roll here. We don't pay attention to that. We just sniff and wear and smell whatever we want whatever smells good this can be worn by anyone it's very light perfect for summer spring hot weather this one has a very uplifting citrus kind of almost like a sparkling scent profile i believe this has lemon in here it also has notes of cardamom pepper sandalwood it's so amazing and it's just perfect for the gym Another one I like to wear when I don't want to smell too perfumey, when I just want to smell natural, like I just stepped out of the shower, is this one from Jo Malone. This is Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I love this. This was Love at First Sniff. Mm. This just smells so clean and natural like I just stepped out of the shower. It just smells like wood and sage. I love it. I guess it also smells like sea salt, but honestly, I don't know what sea salt smells like. <laughs> but I love this. It's just the most perfect, natural, clean smelling scent. We have one of my favorites, Molecule One. This is perfect for the gym. Yes, it only has one note in here, ISO E Super. This is the scent that 
you can't necessarily smell on yourself, but others can smell on you. And every now and then you might get little whiffs of it. It kind of smells like cedar wood. I love the scent of cedar. I like it actually more than I like the scent of sandalwood. It's just very light, perfect, clean. I love to smell this on other people. This is the perfect layering fragrance and it actually can help other fragrances rise to the occasion, so to speak. So you can put this on, put on another fragrance. It'll help it last longer and kind of bring it more to life. But that's Molecule 01. Yes, I'll be wearing this to the gym all the time. All right, I just have a few more. I promise I didn't want this video to be too long. Next up, I have this one from Verdu's. This one is Assam of India. I actually got it in this collection. This one I also like to wear to the spa, like when I'm going to get a facial. This one is a nice tea scent with a whole bunch of sexy spices and a little bit of citrus. Very unique, very nice on the skin. I love it. My last two. They're both from Atelier Cologne. This one in the orange is called Love Osmanthus. This one has a nice citrus vibe going on. It has Osmanthus, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of cedar. Very nice. The last one, also from Atelier Cologne. This one is called Clementine California. Also another citrus-based scent. But this one is a little bit more spicy. So this one has a little bit of an extra edge, a little bit sexier and spicier. It also has a little bit of sweetness. So in here, there's some type of berries. I can't remember which ones, maybe juniper berries, but don't quote me on that. It also has a little bit of basil, mandarin, I think it has a little bit of pepper in here, sandalwood, anise, oh my god, it's so beautiful, I love it. So yeah, that's where you get all of this beautiful spiciness from. So these are the scents in my collection that I love to wear to the gym. Let me know if you have tried any of these or if you have any recommendations for me for gym scents, I would love to know. If you're wearing fragrance today, let me know what your scent of the day is in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching you guys. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lisa. On my channel, I focus on luxury, fashion, beauty, fragrance, and travel. Well, when we could travel, can't do that right now too much. But anyway, thanks again for watching you guys. Have an amazing day and an amazing weekend. I'll see you guys on the next video.